the coffee is preparing. I really need to calm down now. I'm so worked up at the moment. Watch TV. Uh, what's this? Oh yeah, I subscribed to the daily paper. This is good, just what I needed. Enjoy a cup of coffee while reading the headlines. Coffee should be ready by now. The save points haven't really been that necessary. Newspaper and coffee makes a good combination, but only if you don't mix them. Yes, please. All right, I'll head to the table. It's chilly in here. Uh, warm coffee. Huh, interesting. They're going to increase tax on food. What else? The construction on the new highway has been started. I believe it crosses the old property of Mr. Taylor. I wonder how he's doing. What's this? A new species has been found. That's cool. I wonder what the next page hides. Oh, it's the page for obituaries. Too many names and ages here. Nancy P. Goodwin. No. No, no, no! I lost it. The weight of the world came crashing down on me. It twisted my soul like nothing before. At that very moment, I made a decision. I would quit my job. But before that, I would have to visit her grave. Excavations in progress. Access denied by way of exception. Thick chain and a huge lock. I can't get past here. Well, we can get in here. So, I'm sure nothing weird's gonna happen when we go to visit the dead body of the lady we kicked out of her home who had a bunny that was cute and she had a really depressing life. I'm here to visit Mrs. Goodwin's grave. Good evening. Nice hole you've there. Thanks. I need to get to the other side. Didn't you read the notice? We are closed, so to speak. Come back later. Can't I just- No! Hey! There's something fishy going on around the gate. Someone's trying to break in. I'm not falling for that. Now get lost and let me work. Okay. But the way is blocked. Ah, screw it. Grave digger's cabin. That guy is scary. I really shouldn't poke through his stuff. But I need to visit Mrs. Goodwin. There's nothing. Huh, this is coming useful. It's swollen, not locked. Door's all swollen and twisted. I can't get it open. I uh, think we have all we need from in here, so let's leave and get the hell out before he sees me. I guess we go check the other gate. So while the story of this game is kind of all over the place, the art style and the music itself are very nice. Perfect match, I unlocked the gate. With the key bent, it's now unusable. Good job, how'd you manage that? down this way. Nothing. Lovely. Glad you just left this wide open for no reason. Cool. Ahem. Eek! Sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. But, wait a second, I know you. From the nursing home. What on earth are you doing? I'm here to visit my husband. But they closed the cemetery. Ha! You think that will stop me? Never! But madam, you can't go breaking into cemeteries like that. Would you calm down? 
And give me the crowbar, please. No! I'm not going anywhere until I've seen my husband. Do I really have to tell the grave digger what you're up to? Because I don't want to. That guy gives me the creeps. I su suppose. Yeah, I'll just wait until it's dawn then. Thank you, madam. So now we go back and we use the crowbar to break into the cabinet. Oh yeah. It's cool how you can see the background. Or like the background moves differently and there's actually stuff back there to see. You actually see the gravedigger's cabin. Or the little building. I could pry the door open with this crowbar. Open now. Ah! It worked! What? What? All sorts of junk here. Uh, what's that? Where do I need a plank? Look, I got this crowbar off from the intruder. That proves I'm not lying. Intruder? Not on my watch. Quite sure a crowbar wouldn't work here. Oh, I wonder if the plank is long enough. It is. Okay. There's no way I'll get past that huge lock. Don't need to, because that's where the lady was on the other side. light and there I was standing in the rain there was something in that moment as if I would have felt her presence it's hard to describe well, at least he was nice enough to go visit her grave I know you don't blame me for anything but I'm sorry from the little I got to know you you deserved better your passing was a wake-up call for me I've decided to quit. Wherever you may be, I hope you're okay. I'm sure you are. Oh, stupid me. I should have at least brought you a candle. Though, I still have the lantern you gave me. Seems only appropriate to give it back. May it light your path in afterlife. Rest in peace. Mrs. Goodwin. I mustered up the courage. It would end now. I couldn't live like this, and so I went to see my bosses. I went to resign. This isn't gonna go well. I'm tempted, but I don't like public toilets. Tempted? It's a water machine. There's still some water in it. Uh, coffee room, eh? Oh, it's open. Okay, what am I supposed to do with this? If I salt the safe now, maybe in a few million years it'll lead through the iron. Not what I was going for. Shut tight. Shut tight. Don't want to drink coffee now. So we have a salt shaker. Not positive of the importance of that. No, go back down. I want to talk to the lady. Hey. Hey, Jenny. How goes it? Nice to see you, Mr. Price. Have you seen the big guys? N no. I don't n n know where they are. Stop interrogating me. Calm down, Jenny. Sheesh. Sorry, sorry. Any messages for me? No, I'm afraid not. Okay, well let me know if you find out where the bosses are. Sure thing, Mr. Price. That was an odd reaction from her. Bruton. Oh, lovely. Bruton is out. 
It's not ringing. Okay. Bruton's room is very blue. McDade. That was the red one. Okay. Somehow this is all gonna go horribly wrong and. Hey, what are you doing? Installing a nameplate for you, Mr. Price. Eh. And the green one. Okay. Hey, don't touch my phone, okay? Sorry. Oh, uh, what? What? Oh, I don't even... What? I'm confused. Okay, so there was nothing up here. Do I salt the coffee machine? Well, salt for the flavor. Done. What? It's too salty. What? Why? Something wrong with the coffee. What's that? Tastes all funny. Salty, even. I'm tired of these pranks. Fine, fine. I'll take a look. Thank you, Jenny. I don't mind me. Okay, what's this? I think this is what Jenny connects the phone calls with. I'll insert the cord into the blue plug. Done. Okay, what now? No, really, I don't know what now. Uh, the blue plug is Bruton's. Jesus Christ! Okay. S speaking? Mr. Taylor's waiting on the line. Can I connect the call? What? Again? Ah, please do. Bruton. Hello, Bruton. This is Taylor speaking. How do you do, Mr. Taylor? Listen, I understand the city is going to build a highway. I've come to accept that. What? You have? Yeah, but... I think it would be only fair if my cabin was moved elsewhere. I mean, you only need my sight, not my actual home. I can make the arrange- Stop it. It's too late and too expensive for any of that. I can pay some of the expense. Not going to happen. I will send our new kid there tomorrow. He'll make sure you sign the papers. But goodbye now, Mr. Taylor. What an asshole. Huh. Never realized he was so crude. What the hell is up with you? You're really gonna make me go down. Oh, god dang it. See the bosses now? No, I don't know where they are. Okay. Well, I don't know what to do now. That didn't solve anything for me other than just being loud and creepy. I was hoping she'd still be busy in here, but she's not anymore. Oh, now the second safe is open. Something. Hey, it's my coffee mug. Um. Okay. I can get some water. Don't mind if I do. Maybe one more glass, or mug. Water is healthy. A little more. Must. Drink. More! I'm gonna burst! I'm sleeping with you. Whoops. I think I drank it all. That was the plan. Hey Jenny, I'm sorry to bother you again. What is it this time? There's no water in the water machine, and I'm thirsty. What? How? I just changed the bottle today. I don't know. Okay, okay, I'm going. Okay, cord's going blue. I'll insert into the red. Done. See you later, Jenny. Doo doo. Going to McDude. Mc, Mc, McDade. Yeah? Mr. Jones is waiting on the line. 
All right, connect him. This is McDade speaking. Hey man, this is J-Bomb. I, I haven't found a new apartment yet. Could you postpone the expropriation? Just a few weeks so I can find somewhere else to stay. Anything else? Do you want me to look for you? Want me to hold your hand? And walk you across the fucking street? Stop calling here. I'll send someone there tomorrow to take care of things. But dude, I re- Farewell. Ha. Funny guy. Wasn't really fond of the guy either. That was just unnecessarily cruel. Your bosses are bad people. I don't know why this is a surprise to you. They're terrible, horrible people. You should have been aware of this. Okay, go back in here. Last safe will be open. Let's see. It's a rag. Um, where would a rag be necessary? Hey Jenny, this yours? Just because it's a rag doesn't mean it belongs to me. Sorry, I meant no offense. I was just joking, Mr. Price. I don't know what that don't know what that means other than the obvious, in which case that's terrible. Uh, we can put the rag in the toilet and have it overflow. I feel like I'm doing this in a lot of games. Whoops. I feel like I'm clogging toilets in a lot of games now. Jenny, the toilet's clogged. Could you go and take a look, please? What am I, a plumber? You know we hired Janitor a little while back. Um, I'll just call him. No, no, don't do it. I was gonna go talk to him anyway. So might just as well tell him about the toilet. That's nice of you. Hey, what are you doing? It's like an huh? Oh wait, I thought this was the... Is he not the janitor? Uh, if he's not the janitor, then... Did you talk to janitor? I'm on it. Um, oh, whoa, what is that thing? Hmm? Turn the phone off. Do 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 la do. Do 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 do. Seems like a really complicated way to get her to do a thing. So I thought I saw the janitor earlier, but now I can't find him anywhere. Maybe you should call him after all. Okay, one second. The number cannot be connected. I think his phone is powered off. What a bummer. But I need to get that toilet working again. So. Okay, I'll go. Thank you, Jenny. You're awesome. I know. Red to green. All right. Now we're going into the last door, because that's the thing we do. Alright. Brace yourselves for the jump scare. What's up, Jenny? Miss Gilman is waiting on the line. Can I connect her? Please do. Moore. Hi, Mr. Moore. This is Goodwin. How do you do, Mrs. Goodwin? Not too well, to be honest. My pension isn't too much. And all the meds are awfully expensive. Maybe you should have worked harder. Or eat healthier. Your debt is only your own doing. That's not fair, Mr. Moore. You know my husband passed away. And all the bureaucracy and confusing laws. Well, I just don't think it's fair that I need to pay the inheritance tax. Well, you should have done the proper paperwork. I'm not doing his voice right anymore. There are laws and you must honor them. I suppose, Mr. Moore, I suppose. Well, the reason I'm calling is that I'm asking you a little more time. I've been arranging my things and... No! The law does not compromise. There's nothing I can do. Surely there. Goodbye. What an old hag. 
And things are creepy, things are bad. Gonna leave this room now, cause it sucks. Never mind, it's worse out here. Go and show them, dear. The moment of truth, son. Okay. What? Oh. Lovely. So I'm sure they're just going to let me leave and everything's just going to be hunky-dory. I entered through the door. It was black as night and quiet as a grave. Only the pulse of my heart broke the silence. One more step. And the lights came alive with a shout. Surprise! The band started playing. Balloons floated to the ceiling. They were all there. My bosses, Jenny, and my colleagues. It took a moment for me to figure out what was going on. I had proved myself. The party was for me, for my partnership. I took a long breath and swallowed. I prepared myself to shout my resign out loud. But then something happened. A purple silky cloth revealed its secret. A new sign with my name on it. Greed reared its ugly head, and my backbone snapped like a dry stick. But did you get your partnership? What happened next? Yeah, I got my partnership. Well, I suppressed my feelings, my guilt. I kept working for a few years. You sure you don't want to swig? Oh, thanks, sir. I'm on duty. Hope you don't mind if I do. Not at all, sir. I lied to myself. It's all okay, I said to myself. I just kept blowing into the balloon, you know? It only stretches so far. My, my mind broke. I started slipping. Heck, maybe even I wanted to. Soon after that, I got fired. And the standard of living I was used to, I run into debt big time. I lost everything. I feel pretty horrible for taking over your property now. Listen, kid. Reason I told you my story. Please, say no more, sir. You really remind me when I was younger. I'll admit, your story really puzzles me. I will give my career a second thought for sure. This probably was the first good deed I've done in my whole life. Please think it through so you won't end like I do. I will. But, oh gosh, I hate doing this. You will have to move out by the end of this month. I know the drill, kid. Take care now. I really hope he listened to my story. I think this is it. I spent my last coin to buy this shotgun. Oh, Jesus Christ. I guess it's time to use it. No point. Start shooting around. Well, you go pee first. Must be a better way to end your life. What, peeing in a toilet? Uh, I could use some of my depression. Nah. Bottle's empty. No more whiskey for me. No, I'll need the shotgun to end my days. I'm going to just kill myself. I might as well just fill all the cliches and write a suicide note. I end my ambitious life in this humble chair. I don't want to. Okay, I saved the progress. Well, this took a dark turn. Depressing to write a suicide note. What do I have to say? What comes around goes around. Fuck it. I'll have to do. Ah, it's the same as the beginning. There's no point hiding the suicide note. No, I'll just keep this note to myself. 
I have a note written. I need something to do. I need something to finish the deed. Oh boy. And we know what happens from here. I feel bad for him. Hope he'll be fine. Can I go back and check? Nope. Come on, elevator. I just want to get away from here. That was a pretty clever ending. They brought us all the way back to the beginning. Uh, is there something happening right now? Other than credits? I'm holding down the D key to see if I'm moving. Nope. Just going slowly. So that was Distraint. Uh, it was not a very long game, but it's pretty... Yeah, wait a minute. Oh. Hey players, this is Jesse McConan writing. Hopefully you enjoyed the game. This is a speed project of mine. The whole game was made within three months, though I got some help from my wife Jenny. She had lots of great ideas that ended up in the game. It would be a very different game without her. Thanks, babe. Uh, I'm not going to read this out loud. If you guys want to take a peek at it, go for it. So, yeah, very interesting game. The story at uh, some points was a little shaky. Some of it just seemed rushed for the sake of being rushed while other parts were drawn out for no reason. But all in all, I like this game. It was great. I do tend to enjoy these types of games. So, uh, she went to see her husband in heaven. That's a pretty sweet ending. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you liked this video, please click the like button down below. And if you want to see more of these videos, I'd really appreciate you clicking that subscribe button. I upload every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So if you want to see more videos, check them. I also have a Twitter if you'd like to follow me there. And a Twitch, and my Steam is also located down below. Share me with friends and family if you guys can. I'd really appreciate it. I hope to see you all for the next video. See you then.